All right, we're the screen team. We are back. We are doing uh, so a lot of big blockbuster movies for you this evening, and we're going to finish up with one that was just inducted into the screen team <laughs> Hall of Fame and is what? considered. What? Yeah, what? yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It's considered one of the greatest, not only action films of all time, but one of the greatest movies of all time. We're talking Die Hard, folks. Uh, I think it's also one of the greatest christmas movies of all time i was gonna wait until the very last question to ask you guys that but let's get it out of the way right now guys is die hard is it a christmas movie sure even though it came out in the middle of summer (laughs) (laughs) well all of is i think all that series hell happens around christmas time if i'm not mistaken yeah a lot of a lot of people argue about die hard that uh, a lot of people say it's a christmas mu- movie something you can watch you know every christmas every year for christmas but other people just say it's an action movie that's set during christmas those people are wrong <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing about this movie is that you can watch it all year long sure sure You're, you don't have to just watch it's, it christmas. it's not your family christmas movie that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> it is not like christmas with the crank or anything oh, like that no. right right um so die hard this movie was uh released back in the 1980s and you know it seems like there was just so many good movies that came out in the 80s i'm telling you all the good movies all the good music yeah. 80s it's because I'll they, give you the I'll give you the movies, Doug. They, oh, because they it really all had to like blow stuff up. It all changed in 1991. That's for difference. I'm sorry, yeah. Stacey. Well, they really had to blow stuff up. I mean, there was yeah. not a lot of computer no CGI, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so we got our man. We got um, we got <gasps> <laughs> we got Bruce Willis, and Stacey loves her some Bruce Willis. Yeah, she loves Bruce Willis, <laughs> and uh, Bruce Willis. He is uh, playing John McClane, who's a police officer. Correct? Yes. He's a uh, police. He's a New York police officer. So, what's he doing over in California? What's he's going on with that? And his his wife. And yes. they are estranged, correct? They are. They're estranged. She's she's doing business, and she's working in California. And uh, Bruce Willis is coming over to kind of mend the relationship, right? Yeah. yeah. So he goes to uh, her place of business, which is the Nakatomi Tower. Yeah. Is that close enough? Pretty close, yeah. All right. So he goes there to meet his wife and to kind of rekindle the romance. And there's other <laughs> there's other things going on in the oh, background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got Hans Gruber, played by Alan Rickman. And what's Hans doing? He wants to take over the world, right? Yeah. More or less, yeah. Like all the supervillains. <laughs> he's, he's really given like a poor old hungover john mccain john mcclain sure um a bad evening he's just oh, yeah. ruining he's just giving him a headache yeah so these guys are <laughs> these guys are, are are taking over and john mcclain it's go time for him right well, he's not having it he's not having not it on his watch <laughs> so, so what is it about this movie that makes it so great what do you love about this movie doug just the, the one-liners i mean come on 80s it was Nothing but one-liners sure. in all those action movies. The one-liners, the the, the attitude, the of course. The, I mean, you know, back then, like I said, well, ago, there's no CGI. I mean, everything had to be big on on set, right. explosions and whatnot. So I mean, it was kind of over the top, like much of those movies back then. So, yeah, I like that all the action and stuff, and it it's obvious some of these things are so overblown. You know, there's no way that these guys could do half the stunts that they're really doing. Sure. But that's the excitement of the movie. That's what makes it fun, right? Absolutely. Stacy, do you agree with Doug on this? Yeah. 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 I like a good action movie. I mean, if you give me a good action movie, I'll take it over like a romantic movie any day. Really? Yeah. If you shoot yeah. some glass, I'm not walking on it. If you are John me, McClane is, though. You doggone right. Barefooted. He, yeah, barefooted across the glass. Yeah. I mean... That's tough guy. Yeah. He this character is solely responsible for the fact that every time I get on an elevator, I look up to see if there's a an opening. <laughs> Are like, you how serious? am I getting out of here? Yeah, I might not mention it, but if you ever get in an elevator, the first thing I'm going to do is look up. That's awesome. It's yeah. all because of Die yeah. Hard. Yeah, I think I could figure it out now. I mean, if somebody could just give me a boost up there, because sure. I'm, I'm a little short for that, but you know, you give me a boost, I'm going out the top. You know who I love in this film as well? Um, the guy's name, the actor's name is Reginald uh, yes. L. Johnson. He played in Family Matters. <laughs> yeah, He always plays a cop in something, right? Yeah, yeah. For some reason, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's such a good uh, good character and a good uh, 
good uh, part in this uh, story and, as well. You know, and you can't forget the character of the limo driver. Yeah. Like, he's just chilling out for this whole movie, just <laughs> like jamming. Right. He just needs to make a little extra cash. He's just hanging out until it's time well, to, you know, yeah. And who's the, get the, uh, the head of security? What's his name? Um, he gives him a hard time. Oh, uh, Paul Gleason? Yes. Who plays the, uh, the deputy chief of police, and he was yeah. also... He also played in um, Breakfast Club. Yeah. yeah, he was the uh, the principal or the vice principal in that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, this is just a good movie. I mean, and it it just started the whole. It's it's probably not my favorite Die Hard movie. Really, this is yeah. not your favorite Die Hard. But what is your favorite? The die third hard? one. Really, I've never yeah, seen was, the third one. Is it good? I'm gonna have to get you the box set because you know I have the box set. I'll loan it to you. you can I'll just borrow make, it. You can just binge watch it. Okay. We have, I think, all of them, but. <laughs> The third one has um, uh, Samuel L. Jackson in it. Sure. Yes. And them two. It's now good. that uh, is a partnership right there. <laughs> but yeah, that's my favorite so one. So you had Die Hard, Die Hard 2. What, that was the Die plain Hard. one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then there's Die Hard with a Vengeance. Mm-hmm. That's the third. That's right. Right. And I forgot what four is. Live Free or Die Hard. Oh, or Die Harder. Die hard live free again. Or die harder. Live to die another day, or so. I don't know. They gotten a little crazy with it. With and the you names, know, there yeah. some of the like I was, you know, I think he, in the first one it, it said he went to go see his wife and daughters, but then he has a son later. I so I don't know. Sure. Like they just kind of took it and ran with it. But who really cares? Because kids aren't. They don't really play much into it until nah. you get after the third one. Then he has to start rescuing them. They so, hate him anyway. So, so let me ask you: You guys are studio executives. I'm I'm giving this <laughs> power to you guys right now. Would you guys greenlit a Die Hard Six? Hmm. Why not? It depends on who's writing it. Okay. Okay. Well, what if I was writing it? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Heck yeah. I don't know. I don't know. No, hey, I hey, yes. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. I will give it to you, but you're gonna have to go old school on it. No okay. CGI. Okay. You're really gonna have to blow some stuff up. I'd say it's very it's, little. You're gonna CGI. have to take it way back. I don't know, Stacy. We're but going it, old school. It, it, you have, you've got to have him in it. You have to have Bruce. What's your plot? You What's know, he doing what, now? I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away, Stace. We'll we'll have a meeting some other time, all right? Get but up. just just give me the job now. Okay. I say you got the job. He's got the experience. I'm gonna need the first you guys are split. like the first five scenes. I'm gonna need those before I can green light oh, this. Lord. All right. Oh, man, slow I, as you I cast, give you too much power, Stace. <laughs> slow, slow as you cast Bruce Willis as John McClane. Yeah. That's all I really care about. I mean, I love it because if it's somebody else, it's yeah. just not going to be the yeah, same. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. And if they ever try to to reboot these with somebody mm. else, I will. Uh, th- that will be my protest. You know, maybe thirty or forty years later, like when he's dead and everything else, like in real life, maybe then. No. Yeah, but then we'll be dead too, so we're going to yeah. miss out. Then I won't care. <laughs> <laughs> Let all those. Fools in the future go, oh, this is a great brand new movie. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys, man. Doug, <laughs> Stacy, thank you. The movie is called Die Hard. And, of course, uh, definitely check it out. It's one of our Hall of Fame pictures, man. It's uh, Die Hard. All right. Coming up, we have got uh, more reviews. And remember, we want you to know before you go.